Good morning, viewers. Rob Atfield reporting for Port Carling Boats. It's uh, Saturday, July 7, 18th, rather, 2015. We're looking here at a Chris Craft Riviera. It's a 1951, 18-footer. Uh, notes from the owner are as follows. He says, this model was once called the quintessential wooden boat by Chris Craft and was one of only 288 Rivieras built by them between 1948 and 1952. It was fabricated out of Philippine and Honduran var varnished mahogany planks on oak frames. It has the original six-cylinder Kermath Model K 95 horsepower engine with one single updraft carburetor. The engine was rebuilt in the early 90s, 1990s and would not have more than 100 hours of use on it since then. He says, all original except the additional battery and master switch, electric fuel pump and additional fuel pump. Hull is original and has never had a West system. I'm led to believe, uh, viewers, that the, the uh, boat may require some bottom work at this point. It has been in storage for six years. The owner has no further interest in it. The boat was originally priced at uh, $24,000. Uh, the price has been reduced twice. It's currently for sale at $12,000. I'll just do a quick walk around with you. Of course, we always recommend to our purchasers that they have a marine survey done before they consider buying a boat. Seating for six, I would say. A shallow rear seat there towards the floor. We'll try and get you inside. It's dark in here. There's no electricity. But we'll try and get you a look in the uh, engine compartment in just a moment. I hope we've got enough light here to make the boat reasonably visible. It's a shame that this boat has sat for six years. It needs a good home. It's going to need some TLC, but uh, it's too good a boat to sit in storage for year after year. So please, somebody out there with the knowledge or the skill to do some work on it, pick it up. We'll come back for a moment for an engine shot. And I know it's difficult to see viewers, but here is the six-cylinder, 95 horsepower Kermath engine. It certainly needs a cleanup in the bilge. My understanding is that uh, Chris Craft did use a lot of these engines, these smaller six-cylinder uh, engines in their vessels in the 50s particularly. And here's a look at the dash from the inside. I'm looking back toward the rear of the boat. There you have it. I'm sure at this point, uh, uh, viewers, after six years, the owner of the boat would consider offers. Over and out.